you doing, good people? This is the Eight Bit Animal. Okay, so today's game is so rooted in the 80s that it's scary. Um, it's kind of a movie tie in, but not really. Um, it's the sequel to a game that was based on a movie. Um, now, the game that the game that was based on the original game it wasn't released in the US on the on the NES it was however released on the Famicom and the MSX computer um the and so it since it wasn't released in any on the NES a lot of people missed it however it was released on the play choice 10 arcade cabinets which were essentially NES consoles in arcade cabinets with a timer on them. Um, it's one of the most beloved adventure movies of the 1980s. And it featured a lot of little kids doing awesome stuff. Uh, if you haven't figured out what the movie is, it's The Goonies. And as such, today's game is The Goonies 2. Now, like I said before, um, there was a game based on the, on the actual Goonies movie. The Goonies 2 actually picks up where the events of the movie and all that kind of leave off. Uh, the Fratellis have busted out of jail. And they've kidnapped pretty much all of the Goonies and their mermaid friend. I don't know where the mermaid comes from, but there's a mermaid in there somewhere. Uh, and Mikey is the only one who escapes capture. Now, Mikey has to go to the Fratelli's hideout and rescue everybody else. This game is... For lack of a better term, it's a huge video game, especially for 1988 when it was released. Um, the map is essentially two-sided. It's kind of along the lines of um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night where there was the right side up map and the upside down map. This one has a back and front. Um, and some areas you can't traverse on the front side of the map so you have to transition over to the back side and that happens when you go through these in between areas which are like these little first person rooms with a side menu on them that says hit take item stuff like that um, and in these areas you you collect items you interact with different characters um, some characters will assist you by refilling your health. Some characters will give you items. Some characters will ask you for items before they give them to you. Things like that. Now, that hit, um, that hit command, you can hit the characters and they'll say silly things to you. But eventually it'll cause you problems because the, the characters won't want to help you after a while. Um, that's neither here nor there though that's you'll discover that on your own if you play this game like I said this game is a really big title as far as the scope of the game um, there's a lot of really solid platforming really good um, re a really good soundtrack probably one of the better ones that Konami has done that says a lot um, and the amount of items and environments that you traverse it's really big for a title like this that really a lot of people overlooked or they didn't really see the promise in it because one, it was a movie tie-in and we had gone through that enough already. And two, it was just such a big complex game for 1988 that it turned a lot of gamers off. I know a little eight-year-old 8-bit animal was this game went way over my head and it was cool but I never could really get into it the way I wanted to. This was also a game that would teach me the importance of drawing my maps. 
um, because you'll definitely need maps in order to get through this game. Maps and serious note-taking skills will come through in this game. Um, as far as the availability of this title, um, I can't say it's a really hard to find game. Um, you should be able to track down a copy without any issue. Um, I picked this copy up for five bucks. You may be able to find a copy cheaper. You may pay about that. I wouldn't pay over. I wouldn't pay over seven or eight dollars for it uh, unless it's complete. But pay what you want. <laughs> it's a it's a seller's market for NES games nowadays. Um, but Goonies 2 is an awesome title that um, now that we're a little bit older, we can really see how good this game is. So definitely check it out. This has been the 8-Bit Animal. I'll catch you beautiful people.